Welcome. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us on Cube 57. Our guest is Gerald Smith. He's one of our Houston legends, and he's here to tell us a little bit about what he does and why the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has identified him and celebrates him as one of our Houston legends. Gerald Smith, thanks for being with us. Laura, it's my pleasure. Well, thank you so much. I know how busy you are. You're such an important part of our city. We're so very proud of you, the many accomplishments and all that you've done and given back to Houston uh, as a, a really important part of our economy and the work that you do. Tell the folks who are watching who may not know who Gerald Smith is, tell us what you do first, and then we'll talk about you know how you got there. Well, thank you. Well, um, I'm in the investment management business. I run an investment management firm that manages close to seven billion in assets for uh, institutional investors across the country. Well, and no small feat. I know I just recently saw the Houston Business Journal rankings, and you're right up there with all of the best in Houston. Well, thank you. And thank I know you. you come up with a very interesting story, Gerald. You know, we've had the great fortune of sitting together and, and learning one another's story, many things that we have in common, including what I like to believe is a, a tribute to our parents. Absolutely. You know, the upbringing that you had, uh, your entry level positions that you had here in the Houston area. So talk to folks who may be watching and say, well, you know, he grew up with a silver, you know, spoon in oh, his mouth. Just just the opposite. It's been opposite. So tell, <laughs> tell me first, remind me, your parents did what, Gerald? Well, my uh, mom and dad were actually divorced when I was a young kid. Okay. So I was actually raised by my mom and my grandmother. Okay. I grew up here in Houston in yes. Third Ward, Texas. Yes. Um, went to uh, Texas Southern University, a graduate of Jack Yates High School as yes. well. Yes. And um, quite honestly, Laura started off my career uh, working at Foley's department store. I remember store. in retail. Yep. Now, see, if you're watching, you understand why he's such a sharp dresser. And you moved up the ranks within Foley's. I did. I did. I started working at Foley's when I was, what, 16? Uh -huh. And started off wrapping China. OK. I, I was a China wrapper. All right. I went there during the holiday season to get a job in sales. Yes. And um, unfortunately, uh, while I didn't get a job in sales, mm -hmm. They did hire me to wrap china. Okay. And did you I ever break you, any of the china? Uh, I, 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 I did break a few pieces two? in the beginning, but I'll tell you this quick story. So yes. I went on the interview. I had on my coat and tie, my only suit yes. at the time, and um, thought I was really going to get this job. Went down to the fifth floor at Foley's in the main department store, which is no longer there now, which is where Hill Corp is now, okay. uh, which was at 1100 Main Street, mm -hmm. um, and uh, put on an apron. Everybody was laughing at me because they said, ah, this young kid thought he was going to get a sales job. He's back here wrapping China. <laughs> and, uh, but I decided then that if I got to wrap China, I got to be the best China wrapper I can be. Good attitude. And, uh, Good attitude. From there, went into sales and uh, worked at Foley's all the way through high school and through college. Uh -huh. And by the time I graduated from college, I actually had two offers from Foley's, uh -huh. one in merchandising as a buyer yes. and the other one in personnel. So I was made an executive even before I graduated from college. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was very fortunate. Yeah. Well, as I like to say to our emerging leaders and others, take care of the job you have, and the next one will find you. And absolutely. it doesn't matter what your absolutely. job is, that be is the best correct. at it. So tell me the role and the influence that your the two women in your life play, which are your mother oh, and wow. your grandmother, and, and some of the lessons that you've taken as, a, as an adult. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. Um, my grandmother was an entrepreneur. And so she really was the one that played a pivotal role, if you will, for me when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was uh, nine years old, she taught me the difference between debits and credits. And uh, the fact that she had her own business mm -hmm. uh, back in the 50s and 60s says a lot for Pioneer. you know an African American woman yes. uh, at that time. Yes. And so I, I guess it was always in my blood in the sense to know that in the end I wanted to do something for myself. Yes. Uh, but uh, she played a major role in that and my mom as well, uh, raising two young kids. Mm -hmm. uh, she worked at a, a pharmacy uh, when I was real young called Buffalo Pharmacy, which is, uh, mm -hmm. used to be in West U right on the corner of Buffalo Speedway and Bissonette. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, from there, I went to work for Coca-Cola. But I remember when my mom used to catch the bus at 5 a.m. in the morning mm -hmm. to, try, you know, to, to make sure that my brother and I had uh, food uh, 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 you know, on the table. And uh, it was real important to me to 
uh, being the oldest, that I become somewhat, if you will, the man of the house. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I helped her buy her first car when I was, uh, again, uh, 17 years old, mm -hmm. paid half the down payment and uh, paid half the car note. Wow. So, you know, I come from very humble beginnings, if you will, from that yeah. standpoint. And, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about where you are today and also about your children, your grandchildren, sure. uh, the apples of your eye for sure. I Absolutely. You're like most grandparents. Absolutely. So we'll be right back to talk about that. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back.